Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have a few stories for talk about. Coming out of the parish of St. Catherine, St. Andrew, St. Mary, and St. James. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, we'll start off in the parish of St. Andrew, where a love triangle turned deadly. So we'll get into the police report. Spouse shot and dropped out at lover's home, ex-boyfriend being sad. The police are probing what might be a love triangle turned deadly following the drop out of a man on Belvedere Road in Red Hill, St. Andrew, this afternoon. The drop out man has been identified as 52 year old Ishmael Seymour from East Avenue in Greenwich Farm, Kingston 13. Seymour is believed to be a licensed firearm holder. The news media has learned that the ex boyfriend of Seymour's 27-year-old girlfriend is being sought as a person of interest in the dropout. Reports are that about 1 p.m., the girlfriend was at home with her ex-boyfriend when Seymour, who was her current partner, reported the showed up and tried to gain entry. Police said the woman opened a side door and went outside to talk to Seymour when an argument developed between them, it reportedly became physical. It is understood that the woman fled to the back of the house and shortly after four loud explosions sounding like gunshots were heard, she reportedly called out for help and with the assistance of neighbors, returned to the house where she saw the now deceased lying on his back in an unfinished section of the home in a pool of, you know, red water. Residents summoned the police who discovered Seymour with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the face and upper body. He was allegedly clad in a multicolored shirt, black shorts, pink and yellow underwear, white slippers with a black gun holsters to the front of his waistband. Neither the ex-boyfriend now a firearm was reportedly found at the scene. So there you have it, people. Love triangle turned deadly in St. Andrew. Now, people, we will move over to St. Catherine, where the police now identified two men who were found dropped out with multiple gunshot wounds in Garden Pen, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. So we will get into the report. Police identified garden pen double dropout victims. The police have identified two men who were found with multiple gunshot wounds at their home in Garden Pen, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, yesterday. They are Devon Mackenzie, otherwise called Chucky, 32, and 23-year-old Rio Robinson, both of Belt Avenue in the community. The double dropout is being investigated by cops attached to the major investigation division. No motive has been established for the dropouts. It is reported that about 3.30 a.m., residents heard explosion and called the police. A search was conducted and the bodies of the two men were found on separate beds inside a board dwelling. The men had gunshot wounds all over their upper bodies. Investigators reportedly recovered more than a dozen spent castings at the scene. So there you have it again, people. Police now identified the double dropout in Garden Pen, St. Catherine. Now, people, we move to the western parish of St. James, where a man known as Miman was shot and dropped out in Hampton, St. James. So we are getting into the police report. The St. James police have commenced a probe into the dropout of 30-year-old farmer 
who was shot and taken out by an armed men outside his home in Hampton District, St. James, on Sunday night, August 27. The deceased has been identified as Kenado Asburn, otherwise called Miman, of Plum Tree in Hampton District, also in St. James. Reports said that about 9.30 p.m., Asburn walked from his house to his car, which was parked outside and was ambushed by armed men who opened gunfire, hitting him multiple times. The victim's wife, who was in the house at the time, overheard the gunshot and went to investigate. She then discovered Asburn lying in a pool of red water meters from his Toyota Carola motor car with multiple gunshot wounds to the upper body. The police were summoned and upon arrival, the wounded man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced drop out and the scene later processed. Now people will head to St. Mary where gunmen now have 200k in them pocket. So we are get into the report. Gunmen reported they robbed more than 200 k from Chinese businessmen in St. Mary. Five gunmen reportedly held up and robbed a Chinese businessman of more than 200 k at his business place on Sunday afternoon. The money was reportedly taken from the victim's supermarket at Three Hills in Retreat, St. Mary. The businessman was not hurt during the incident. The police are now investigating. Information reaching the news media is that about 4 p.m., five men, all armed with guns, entered the establishment and robbed the businessman of cash amounting to 230 Thousand. They were reportedly also stole a cellular phone before reportedly escaped in a white Toyota Axel motor car. The police are investigating the scene. So people, the gunman now is 200,000 K richer. So there you have it people. Lots of shootings and drop out all over the country, coast to coast. And we also have the latest one, Love Triangle Turned Deadly in St. Angel. Please leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good, blessings.